Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Today we are going to discuss about the proposal to reduce the dissolve delay on the MNS from six months to three months. This video is extremely important for all ICP holders, especially if you are staking ICP and especially if you are staking ICP for eight years, if you are a part of the eight year gang. In this video, I'm going to go through the proposal and I will show the pros and cons of this proposal. It is very important to understand that not many people know at the moment that voting is already going on on the NNS and that we are deciding on something so crucial for the tokenomics of the internet computer. So let's show the data, the charts, the metrics, the indicators, and let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okay, dokie okay, guys, so let me show you here um, the proposal to reduce the minimum dissolved delay for staking on the NNS to three months. I will go through the whole proposal and I will read it so we can understand what is it all about. However, very important to mention straight away regarding uh, the return on investment, the API for locking ICP now for three months would be around 7.66%, which is a huge amount in my personal opinion. As you may see here, voting is already going on. There are two days left to vote. So what I would suggest here, if you are a holder of ICP, if you're staking internet computer, please always take a look at these proposals because they're extremely important and you have the right to vote on these proposals or for or against them. So in this video, I will try to explain what I'm going to do with my voting right. And as always, I'm going to try to exercise my voting right as much as possible. So first of all, before discussing about this proposal, let's go a little bit back in time in May to discuss about an initial proposal to change the tokenomics of the Internet Computer Protocol forever. I was very vocal on this channel regarding this proposal because I did believe that this proposal is not helpful and it will not reduce inflation. So the aim of this proposal was to reduce inflation. Initially, this proposal had four, uh, there were two proposals, however, I will just discuss about the first proposal that was the most important and that I did cover. So outline of the proposal, reduce the dissolved delays of all neurons by fifth eighths. So this created a lot of chaos in the community. As you may see, this post has almost 500 comments. Okay, so this proposal was crapped and we did not pursue this proposal because of the criticism from the community. Also, uh, an element from this proposal was to um, reduce the dissolved delay. So the minimum dissolved delay at which Neron can gain maturity by voting would be reduced to around three months. So basically, out of this whole first proposal, now we are discussing about this bullet point three. After um, a lot of criticism, this proposal was changed by Dominic Williams, and he mentioned that uh, the proposal was modified so that eight-year neurons would not be forcibly reduced into five-year neurons, and in fact would have some adjustability too. In the modified proposal, it would be only become impossible to set the solve delays under five years in the future, and delays on existing neurons would only be brought down if their own owners wished at their choice. This was already based on the negative feedback from the community, especially from the eight-year gang. Now, uh, after that, all, all that happened, we had a discussion about that. What did I mention back then? I did mention that, first of all, this proposal to reduce the inflation of ICP is not backed by any sort of data. 
I was very critical about that because I could not understand and I was not in the position to even make a decision about that properly because they did not provide data. Data, charts, metrics, and indicators very important to understand the impact of such a groundbreaking proposal. Few days later, after the whole drama started, not only on social media, especially on the Definitive Forum, we had some answers from Björnek, that is a developer at Definity, a Definity team member. And he um, shared some data about inflation and some data about the impact, possible impact of this proposal on the tokenomics. And you may ask me why I'm explaining all of that, because this next proposal that I'm going to explain today, it's um, basically a continuation of the discussion. So um, here, very important, he highlighted that from January 2022 to April 2024, we had an increase of 11.6 fold of the burn rate, which is extremely, extremely positive. However, we need to compare this data with node rewards and with voting rewards. In fact, we have two inflationary mechanics for ICP. We need to pay for node providers. Without them, the ICP network and blockchain would not be functioning, would not have any uptime. So all people that are mentioning, hey, infinite supply. Without infinite supply, the blockchain would not exist, okay? So he compared uh, the cycles burned with the node rewards. I'm sorry about that, something uh, happened here. I was kicked out. So anyway, he compared uh, this with the node rewards and voting rewards. Here we go. And as you may see, in order to cover node rewards, even only node rewards, we need a 70x increase in the cycles burn. So even if we increased already 11.6 fold, we would need to increase an additional 70x just to cover this. And after that, an additional 15x to, co uh, to um, basically to cover voting rewards. If that happens, ICP would not be inflationary anymore. As you may see, there, there has a ton of room to grow this thing here to cover all of that. So what is the main point here? The main point here that this proposal from Definity from Dominic Williams would not help, as Björnek explained, because we need to fo focus primarily on increasing the cycle's burn rate. How do we do that? By increasing the number of users, by increasing the number of dApps, and by creating possibly one, two, three killer dApps that will increase the use case uh, and um, number of users drastically. So let's read the conclusion of that. So given uh, this impact, pursuing this proposal further may not be worthwhile. It might be sensible to revisit this in a future point and so on and so forth. However, a specific element of the proposal, reducing the minimum dissolved delay to three months could be considered separately. And this is exactly what we are doing here at the moment. Okay, so let's take a look at this proposal here. And what is truly shocking for me, this was posted on the 4th of July and we have only 38 comments. So it looks to me that most of the holders have no clue that this is going on at the moment. However, this is very important for all of us that are staking ICP and for all of us that are here for the long term, or even for those people that want to be here for shorter terms and to be able to time the market. So um, this proposal is following the first proposal and it aims to, res um, to uh, reduce the minimum dissolved delay to three months. So pretty straightforward. Now, uh, let me show you uh, some comments from the community regarding uh, this proposal here. So, first of all, um, 
I'd vote yes. With uh, a three months uh, as an option, I stake my liquid ICP instead of it sitting in the NNS. So this is one of the pros. So what we are aiming really to do with this proposal, we are aiming to reduce the entry barrier to the ICP ecosystem. Since there is such a high diesel delay of six months, many people or maybe even other projects or even institutions, they don't want to lock their tokens for like six months. It's not something that is feasible for them and there is no flexibility. Also, on top of that, there is the whole situation regarding uh, liquid staking that would not really be possible with this type of mechanics. So a pro of reducing um, the minimum dissolve delay is more flexibility to many, many holders. And I agree with that. I think that reducing this, it's potentially beneficial because it would attract new potential uh, users and stakers. However, we need to do it and we need to uh, create a system that would not be detrimental to all the other holders that are holding for longer periods. And as you have seen, the return on investment for a three-month uh, lockup would be fairly, fairly high, extremely high compared to the eight years. And this is something that uh, will be brought up in the comment section here. So, I'd vote yes, as, uh, as this per person mentioned. I also think this would be a reasonable change. In my personal opinion, the six-month minimum delay for voting and rewards is a very high threshold. So I hope and expect that with three months, more people would actually stake ICP. I agree on this part. I think this would be uh, something possible and this is something that probably would happen with uh, this change. Okay, let's scroll through the comments and I have number 13 on the list. So, uh, we would also open for another forum thread about reducing the maximum dissolved delays. It makes sense to first focus on the side of the on this side of the problem as the other side will probably create more debate. Of course, it will create more debate because you're again trying to change the diesel delay for the eight year gang. So, of course, this would create uh, much more debate. But for now, even this is, in my opinion, something that we should all together debate a lot more and more people should be involved because it changes the mechanics of the whole uh, system of not only uh, voting, but also, uh, or rather, uh, receiving rewards on the uh, blockchain for staking. So, uh, number 16 here. Oh, I'm sorry. So, number 16. 7.65% is crazy. Why would anyone stake for longer durations? And this is exactly the issue. Three months rewards are more than 50% of eight years staking. Surely a reward rate re-evaluation needs to be done for staking rewards of all lengths. So this was my point already in the first video about the change, potential change of the tokenomics, that we need to take in consideration and re-evaluate the whole uh, reward system because the whole reward system, in my opinion, is a little bit broken at the moment and it does not make sense because in the first place, even with six months, the six months already was a lot more beneficial for more people than the eight months. So there needs to be a scaling of the rewards, in my personal opinion. That is fair for everyone, not in favor of the eight-year gang, but favorable or fair, rather, for everyone, for short-term stakers, for medium-term stakers, and for long-term stakers as well. Okay, um, next comments. I agree, awards are way too high for the short end of the year yield curve for the staking rewards. I'm in favor of a three-month staking option, but I think the incentives need to be reduced. So this is more or less my line of thinking at the moment. 
So I think that uh, more or less the idea to change the dissolved delay is potentially something positive for us because it would attract more investors, however, not at the expense of long-term holders. So uh, next comment here, if I have the number 18 and 20 and then 21, so let me scroll down here. Um, I think this uh, needs to be a little bit more uh, nuanced. Uh, of course, um, there is a whole comment. I will not uh, go through the longer comments because we are running a little bit out of time. I don't want this to be a one hour video as usual. Uh, so number 20. Uh, basically, I believe that a comprehensive discussion should have preceded the development of a more detailed and nuanced proposal. Consequently, I am voting against the current proposal as it appears not to have been throughoutly considered. Uh, response here, this is a comprehensive discussion. Please share any concern feedback. Well, the issue here is that it is comprehensive but as you will be able to see just in a moment, uh, we jumped through the voting phase straight away with only 30 comments. So basically, if I go through uh, the thing here and try to find uh, this comment, anyway, um, the voting was already open. However, we didn't have much feedback in my personal opinion. In the previous um in the previous proposal or rather let's say idea of a proposal we had 500 comments here we have for now 38 comments so this is a little bit of a letdown for me in my personal opinion okay so i mentioned okay i'm um, i never viewed voting like that it is interesting so let's move on this is not what i wanted to show and i'm sorry if i'm a little bit not organized properly but uh, i have everything on my phone that is currently uh, constantly locking while i'm doing that but i will try to be as quick as possible so uh, the proposed change uh, further skews the proportionality of staking rewards the shorter lockup periods are disproportionately more rewarding relative to their duration compared to the longest lockup period. This mis uh, misalignment could discourage long-term staking. Uh, I mean, that, that's what it looks like to me at the moment. Potentially undermining the intended stability and commitment incentivized by longer lockups. So here is already... A comparison for six months you're getting eight percent currently for eight years you're getting 15 percent so there should be much more of a difference i would say like for six months maybe like four percent well this amount here could be uh 15 is okay but this is too high in my personal opinion and the difference get even more pronounced with the three months. So now the yield for three months would be 7.6% each. And uh, obviously there is a huge difference between eight years and the 15%. So here is a whole calculation that I will uh, not go uh, into details too much. Uh, the incentives of a three-month narrow uh, still wouldn't be competitive with Cosmos, Solana, and Polkadot, who had much higher rewards and far less time. Perhaps we should re-evaluate rewards for all the neurons and the insane length of time of staking. Well, uh, this possibly is true. However, uh, I believe that the whole reward system should be changed because simply at the moment for me, at least personally, it does not make much sense. Okay, um, let's see. The, there are a huge ton of comments here that we are not really interested about. So here, last two comments. I calculated they're getting 4.07x more rewards than eight year stakers. Here is the math. So eight year, 15%. Three months equals the 7.66% divided by four because in 
4 times 3 is 12 months, equals 1.915%. So basically, he calculated that uh, the, the yield uh, would be 4.07 times better, more or less-ish, for 3 months compared to 8 months, which obviously does not make sense. Obviously, it is a huge incentive to stake for shorter amount of times compared to longer amount of times. And this is why uh, this uh, whole voting at first, it looks like a straight yes for many people. Okay, we are going to reduce, we are going to incentivize the holders. However, we need to take in consideration also the reward system. So we could potentially change, uh, in my personal opinion, the dissolve delay to three months. However, in a separate then uh, vote, we would need to take in consideration the reward system separately to understand how to change it and how to make it as best as possible and as fair as possible for everyone. To avoid confusion, I'd like to cl clarify how what, what voting rewards currently work. The dissolve delay bonus isn't complicated and it's explained well in the sandbox, which I will show in a second. So basically, um, here is the comparison, more or less, 8 years, 4.89%, 6 months, 7.91%, and for 3 months, 7.68%. So huge, once again, discrepancy, I believe. Okay, so uh, let me show the sandbox. You can use this to uh, calculate everything. I will also provide a calculator in a second. Um, what is the solve delay? If you don't know at all what we were talking about, you can check uh, this article on the Definitive Foundation. I will not explain those, um, in my opinion, simple terms here. Uh, also, you can use this uh, ICP neuron calculator to understand how this system works. So as you may see here, uh, staking period of eight years and the solve delay of eight years, for example. So if I change this like that, you will see that the dissolve delay can't be higher than the staking period, which makes absolute sense. So we could go all the way down and also create this type of scenario in which staking period six months, the sold delay six months, and as you can see, there are no rewards currently. And this is why many investors don't want to lock up their ICP because of the dissolved delay and because simply they don't have so much flexibility. They would rather maybe stake some other coins or projects to get more quicker or to time the market. So this is the main concern here. Okay, uh, there is also this article about staking and voting rewards that if you wish, I can also um, add to the description or just to the comment section. So you can read through this if you're not really familiar with the terms that I have used here. Of course, uh, we can also discuss about water neuron, uh, the liquid staking. This would be in favor of what we are trying to do. Generally, uh, and I did mention this already when we discussed about chain fusion, and I will just show you my open chat group before that, and I will continue, and then um, I will explain why this is important. So basically, I believe that with chain fusion, we are going to revamp potentially the DeFi on uh, the blockchain. However, question is, what is the incentive for retail investors or institutional investors to add and deposit liquidity directly on chain? It's not only staking, it's also other potential protocols that would run on the blockchain and would provide an incentive for these participants to lock their token. What are those incentives? For, for example, yield. Okay, we are going to provide them some yield on their stable coins or on their ICP to lock this or through staking or through some other protocols that will also help them to earn yield or potentially a second use case, of course, is use. Why would you uh, deposit liquidity? Because you can use this liquidity to do something on chain. What you could potentially do 
Well, obviously, for example, play to earn. You could play some games or social networks like Open Chat and many other decentralized applications that are running on chain. We need many dApps to run on chain with many different use cases to attract a variety of investors. This is the only way chain fusion can work. Of course, many people mentioned, hey, now we have Chinky Shiba, we now have Chinky Pepe. They can transact on chain with basically almost zero gas fees. This is a big incentive for them. Of course, this is potentially an incentive, but we need more incentives to attract big players in the industry to our blockchain and to this project. Also, um, I did uh, create a poll here on my open chat group. You can take a look. Uh, I'm fairly active on open chat. We are discussing about the changes in the tokenomics. We are discussing about the narrative. So even though I didn't have so many votes, this is still a small community, only 561 members at the moment. By the way, if you did not join this community, you can join. There is a lot more information than in my videos because we are uh, all commenting and there are people that are maybe developers that comment that are more technically knowledgeable than me in these topics. Of course, I'm a specialist in um, financial markets. I'm a specialist in regulatory issues, also tokenomics. I understand them quite well. However, some topics that are technical developers can provide some more um, information um, compared to me. So this is a good place to get this information, I would say. Anyway, Utopia uh, still is one of those top narratives for many voters here. And this is what Bjornek also mentioned. We need this one killer dap that will help us increase drastically the amount of ICP burn. Utopia, uh, what it did create, it created a lot of confusion, a lot of drama, because many people did believe that Utopia will be this one project that will burn cycles. We now understood that this will not happen directly because it will not be deployed directly on the blockchain. However, it could still um, happen indirectly that they will burn tokens. I don't know yet. We need more details. I did explain already that, that without more details, it's fairly hard to provide an opinion. Okay, guys, I don't want to make this video uh, longer than necessary. If you like the content, uh, smash the like button. If you have any questions or concerns, or if you need some of the documents that I did share in this video, just please write me a comment. I will take a look and if possible, I will provide what you need and I will comment. Also, as I mentioned, open chat is a better place to comment just because uh, there is more activity, not only from me, but other members that are knowledgeable so they could help. Anyway, if you like the content, as always, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.